This is Robert Marlachi, President and Publisher of the Mindshare Learning Report. I'm here at McMurk Junior Public School in the Toronto District School Board and winners of the Central Canadian Microsoft Mindshare Learning 21st Century Digital Classroom Challenge. I'm here with Kamla and Zelia, the co-winners. Congratulations! Yay! Very exciting for all of us here. Well, we're so proud of, of the work that you've done and uh, we had an opportunity to view the video with the students and, and really demonstrates how engaged they are as 21st century learners in some of the wonderful technology that you've embedded in your, your everyday teaching practice. It didn't happen overnight. No, it took a few years of finding out what it is that we need to address in the classroom based on what they're exposed to in everyday life at home. And to bring that connection, make it real for them and authentic, uh, we realized that we needed to do some teaching here that carried out into their home. Your thoughts? Well, as a teacher, it was important that I understood the technology or got a foundation of it, connected it to the curriculum so they could feel empowered once it was implemented in the classroom. Now, last year you submitted, you didn't win. I believe that persistence pays off, so all those educators who submitted and encouraging other educators to share their successful practices and how to use technology in the classroom, because we're about you know, pushing the 21st century envelope. Any, any thoughts to share on that? Well, perseverance always pays off. It's always good to see what worked, what didn't work. And this is about providing students an opportunity to show themselves, this is what we're doing in our classroom. This is what we're learning. And the sense about being a 21st century learner is that there are being learners for an unknown world out there, preparing them for something, for jobs that don't exist now, but to give them the skills and the opportunities now to ensure that when they get there, they have everything that they need. And it's just a matter of uh, putting themselves forward, taking that risk to succeed. Now, I love the fact that you teamed up in this. So you yeah. didn't have all the technology in both classes, but you worked together collaboratively, and that's worked well for you. Collaboration is the key. And in terms of you know trying over and over again, I think that's really important. It doesn't matter if we were teaching the same grade or with different grades. Finding um, and working as a team helps to push ourselves and our students. You've got over $15,000 in prizes hey, that are exciting. coming your way. You've got some of the Microsoft prize pack here, and you've got smart boards and, uh, and an Adele mini notes, uh, laptop, and other prizes. How are you going to manage all that technology? Well, I think the way we do now, we're very open to rotating and sharing resources. And as a staff in our school community, we understand that everyone has needs at specific times. And just working through that to ensure that all the students have an opportunity, that it's not focused on one particular class, but that we share throughout the school. Excellent. Any final thoughts? How does it feel to have been the, selected the Central Canada winners? It, it's, really, it's really exciting because it showcased one, our school, our students, and yeah. showing how technology can be immersed into the classroom successfully without you know, taking away from anything else. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Again. We look forward to visiting again to yeah. see the technology in action. This is Robert Bartolacci of the Mindshare Learning Report, and until next time, keep the learning curve steep.